Today we're going to talk about green screening, otherwise known as chroma keying, and we are going to use it to change the background and to show you how you can use it for animation. Thanks for watching and let's get to it. I have video backgrounds. One of my favorites is these clouds here, and I'm going to put that on the very first video line. Now I know the video I'm going to work with is longer than 10 seconds, so I'm going to clone this go to the very beginning of this, and now I'm going to go get the video, and I'm going to put it right on top. The very first thing I do with a green screen, because I don't have to shoot and worry about the entire thing, because in LumaFusion, I can crop it. So I like to use the sliders on the right and left, and I do roll forward, because I do know my hands come out a little bit right there. Go to the left and crop right about around my fingers there, I'll go to the top and crop down not too close to my hair because that will mess things up. Now I go to color and effects and hit the chroma key and I'm going to hit the green screen key and it did a very good job but I'm a little losing a little hair there so I'm gonna pull that back and you just use these sliders right here to make sure you are getting everything that you want and not, of course, getting too much green. So you want to pull the green close out of my hair there. So I'm going to come back to the cropping. And make sure I have my fingers in there. That's all there is to keyframing. You wanted to take some of this video and put a different background in it. And I'm going to come to this 10 seconds and delete it. So there's nothing behind me now. It's blank. So I'm going to go get my backdrop, which would be this black picture and I'm going to add that in there and I'm going to make it as long as the video. So now there's my video. Now if you'll notice you might see a problem in here. So everything was good here but I've got a problem here. So I'm going to come back up to this and hit edit. Go back to chroma key and there we go. That brightness just bring that a little bit that you can also chroma key this background out as well. So I'm going to come to the very start of this and I'm going to cut the upper video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these. Now the first thing to do is you have to unlink the video so there's no little line there. And I'm going to bring this one up and bring this one up. So now I have room for another background. I'm going to look at this one which has got the motion that I had before. So I can roll in where it explodes behind me. So the point of this is to show you you can chroma key black. So I'm going to just add this down there and I'm going to come to the black and I'm going to edit it. Now it's very important that you note that this is now cut so it's separate. And I'm going to come to this black background here. I'm going to edit it and I'm going to go back to keyframe and I'm going to do a dark frame. Okay, so now as I roll through, and it's also important that you roll through the video, you really get a better idea of how your keyframing is working. So I just keyframed it to black and there it added another background to a black background. So it doesn't necessarily have to be green. It is doing it right with the black background. So that's how you can chroma key. And now we also talked about adding something on to the background. Now there's a lot of ways to add images onto a video. The problem is a lot of times you have to go out and get a PNG or save it as a PNG and that's great but sometimes you can't. So I'm going to go to my albums and I'm going to go get some green screen images. So I found that I have a couple green screen images. This is actually a video that I have as a green screen image. So I can go grab this, put this on top of it, hit edit, of course roll through a little bit, hit chroma key, green screen. Again, you're going to want to roll through this because you've got lines of white, different colors, and you can see you've lost some things in here. So make sure that you mess with your saturation and your brightness. And there you go. Now again, I'm going to come to frame and fit, use my size and bring this down, move it somewhere where I want it. 
And if I want it to keep playing, I just clone it. Otherwise known as chroma key. And we are and it just continues to play. So there it shows you how you can add an image. The other way to add an image in LumaFusion is to click the plus and add a main title or an overlay title. We're going to do an overlay title and it adds words but if you go into edit you can click on that text and there's a garbage can just delete it. Now on the far left is another plus. This is where you can add a shape or you can add an image. You can use one of their images which are PNGs so they have a clear background so you can see directly through it. I'm going to delete that or you can add your own image. Import image. You can do it from many sources from your iCloud drive to your Dropbox OneDrive. You can import it from your photo app. I'm going to go to all and I'm going to choose a picture that I know is not a PNG. This is a JPEG. What I'm going to do, we're going to delete that, and we're going to go out to a program called Magic Eraser. We're going to go out and get that same image that we are working with, this heart with the gray. We're going to come to the very first choice is done in the upper right. You'll get a tolerance. You're going to choose the magic wand, click in the gray, and it will get rid of it. Okay. So now when I'm done, I go to the upper right and I can save it now as a PNG. Just click on it. It'll give you some choices, high resolution. I'm done. I'm now back in LumaFusion and I'm going to go to the plus image, import image, and now my new picture is there. Now a PNG with a clear oh. background. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please give us a like, and if you would, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.